New IHOP KC spokesperson Eric Valls is now blaming the advocate group for delaying the Mike Bickle investigation. Is that really what this is, though? Well, we're going to go over the statement here that Valls released after, you know, all of that you know, uproar over the new law firm that was going to be a part of this investigation. We'll we'll dissect it in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, well, that's kind of my only option. I remind you guys as well, if you enjoy and appreciate the work I do here, consider blessing my ministry with a generous donation. There's a couple of ways you could do it. One easy way, just click that super thanks button down below on this video here. That's how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Whatever you guys can contribute, it helps and adds up. It doesn't matter how small or how big. Or become a premium member of Not By Sight News. Join my Patreon today for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash Not By Sight News. Link in the description. When you join the Patreon, you get all the videos before they ever hit my main YT platform. I always take care of the Patreon members first. Also with that, you guys can comment censorship free in all videos and even send me DMs. So check out the platform. I think you really like it. Patreon.com slash news. Again, link in the description. And big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. You know, when Eric Valls was introduced to Forerunner Church on Sunday, December 10th, as the brand new spokesperson, the one theme that he reiterated throughout this speech was truth. And IHOP KC being committed to finding the truth about what really happened here with Mike Bickle. That's all good and well. However, actions speak louder than words. And well, if anything, this whole entire process has been anything but truth. In fact, it's been nothing but lies. So if this was Vol's mission statement from the beginning, you have already failed because nobody trusts IHOP KC. And why should we trust you? Because that's what so many are saying, especially the advocate group. Now, during his little speech at the church, at Forerunner Church, he talked about how, you know, there is a new third party that was involved now. Now, this was the third time now that IHOP KC has chosen a third party. As we know, the first time it was Stinson LLP, all of the backlash that erupted because of that, you know, they're, you know, another law firm, big, powerful law firm. They're going to show bias towards their clients. IHOP KC drops them. They then go with a local lawyer right there in KC, uh, who actually had it was a member of IHOP KC, so there was backlash to that, and so now they picked another one, the third one, and no doubt there's going to be probably many more. However, Valls would not disclose the name of the law firm, much like the previous one, because he said that he wanted to protect the investigation and didn't want to cause any distractions. This is the major problem because if you're if you're coming out here and you're preaching truth, right? That's what he said. They want to get to the bottom of this. Why are you not being transparent? and just telling everybody the name of the law firm. And again, that's the other problem too, is that they went with another law firm. The fact that you wanted to continue hiding this shows that nothing has changed from the original messaging here of IHOP KC, right? And I know Stuart Greaves, he's not a part of this anymore. He was, you know, taken off of the whole Mike Bickle thing to focus more on, you know, running, you know, the actual ministry, but it's still the same. Nothing has really changed. So what happened then? It took one day, one day, for the name of the law firm to be leaked. And it was determined it was the Lathrop Group, which is another law firm there in the KC area. And if you go to their website, they boast about their successes of defending churches from the exact accusations that Mike Bickle is facing. Touting their victories, right? Counting up the numbers. Yeah, we defended this church from this and defended that church from that. So in the statement here, Valls said that, well, he had to admit that a member of the advocate group leaked the name of the law firm. He was very upset by this, but again, he's committed to the truth and okay. But as he continued on in his statement here, he said that he was very, really disappointed with the advocate group because it was the third time that IHOP KC has tried to bring in a third party, but nothing makes the advocate group happy. Valls said that he is puzzled. He is puzzled. Really? You're puzzled by this? I mean, I can figure this out. So many others can figure this out. But he is puzzled that the advocate group will not participate in this investigation. Because, of course, Boz Chivajian, 
who is representing the main, you know, Jane Doe here, you know, of the allegations against Bickle, has come out and said in no way, well, he or any of his clients sit down with, with anybody from the Lathrop Group and be a part of this investigation. Now, the name of the lead investigator in this is Rosalie McNamara, and that name was also given here by Vols, but of course, I mean, it was leaked prior to that, so he wasn't just making this you know, announcement for the first time. But again, Chibajian reiterated, what is so hard to understand about the fact that these survivors, the last thing they want to do is sit down with a lawyer from the Lathrop Group, who again, brags and boasts about the successes that they have in defending churches. How would they feel comfortable in doing so? This is not rocket science. And as Valls continued to go on here in his statement, he said that it is in fact the advocate group who is delaying this investigation. Really now, because I don't think it is. The advocate group has made it very clear, crystal clear from day one what they want. A true independent third party group to come in to investigate this. No, no law firms, none of that. But IHOP KC has refused. They will not bring in a group like Grace. They will not bring in a group like Guidepost. Instead, they stick with these law firms, right? Because they know that there's a good chance that they can go ahead and get them cleared and get Bickle back to preaching again as soon as possible, which is why his confession was so vague, right? Come out and just say inappropriate behavior, but not really admit, you know, truly what you did, not, not giving us the not giving us the details. So Vols here to say that this is the advocate group's fault is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> He's got a task on his hands as the spokesperson here uh, for IHOP KC. Look, good on the advocate group for not backing down, okay? Because they shouldn't. And the other thing that Vols said in the statement here, and by the way, I will put the link to the video in the description. I know some of you have seen it already, but for those that haven't, I'll put the link in the description. You can watch it for yourself. It's like a little over two minutes long. But Valls is urging the advocate group to please reconsider. This is a trustworthy group, he says. They, they, they have ethics, right, and morals. Oh, sure they do. I'm sure they do, right? Yeah. Valls is also the same guy who said that he can relate to all of the survivors of Mike Bickle. No. No, you haven't been transparent since day one, and you're still not being transparent now. If you would have just come out and said the name of the group, from the, well, then at least we could say, okay, at least you're, you know, we may not like it, <laughs> but, you know, at least you're, you're, you're willing to be honest about it instead of it having to get, you know, dug up by the advocate group and then released out there for everybody to know. This whole thing has been a complete and total mess. And in the meantime... Survivors continue to hurt. Church members continue to hurt. Staff members, remember all the resignations and everything that we've seen at Forerunner and also at the International House of Prayer? Damage has been done here. Can IHOP KC even be salvaged? You know, I said this before about Hillsong. You know, when all of their stuff broke out, with Brian Houston and Carl Lentz and everybody, you know, I, because all those, you know, Hillsong affiliated churches in the U.S. started to shut down and and rebrand themselves. But, you know, I maintain this, that, you know, I think Hillsong was, was just done for. It should just be completely absolved at this point because that name is so tarnished and it's associated with just all of this bad stuff. And now the same thing is happening for the International House of Prayer. Unless a complete overhaul is done, you get rid of all these jokers like Greaves and everybody else that are currently there now. You know, and, and there's questions too about their board as if they even have a board. I know there's a lot of you know, back and forth about that right now. Uh, but this, this again, this whole thing is just a mess. Uh, again, I'll put the video down below in the description. You guys can check that out. I welcome your thoughts as always in the comment section. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we're in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. 
First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin. Not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash news. Link in the description or just hit that super thanks button down below on this video here where you can tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk. See you soon.